Hi, it's me, Tony. I just saw Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, the 13th, and I'm here to share some stuff with you. I will tell you a little bit of things that are not spoilers, but then there's gonna be some big spoilers because I just have to talk about it. Since this video is out on Saturday, then the movie would have already came out on Friday. First things first, when I went to the premiere, premiere, it's a fandom event. I went to a fandom event and when I went, I don't know if this was happening everywhere, but I got a button and a poster. It says protect the secrets. Well, hashtag protect the secrets. Crash the Grindelwald. And I also got this poster. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. My other Fantastic Beast poster is right here, so maybe I should put it over here. Okay, so the movie in general is about Grindelwald. Grindelwald? Grindelwald. Grindelwald. Him and how he is trying to get, you know, wizards on his side. Kind of like how Voldemort got Death Eaters. But Grindelwald does something totally different than Voldemort does. Like Grindelwald is just like, is so different than Voldemort. It's a different kind of villain that you just, it, I can't even comprehend how to explain how different it is. Cause Voldemort is like, you die or you come. And Grindelwald is pretty much talk. It's all talk. He's just talking. And so it's, it's just, different but it's cool that it's different because you know it's not the same villain Voldemort is not Grindelwald, Grindelwald not Voldemort. We see new and we see beasts still, we see some new beasts. We see some other characters that aren't a big role so I don't know if they're going to like make them more of a role in the next movie but there is someone that helps Newt and she only showed up once in one scene but I feel like she has a bigger role to play I don't know we don't see Tina that much until like later in the film and the movie is not focused on the four of them anymore it's focused on the wide range on what's happening now I gotta talk about some spoilers so if you don't want to hear about them you can stop now so first of all not a big spoiler towards the end of the movie Credence gets a wand. So now he can control his power in a wand. They didn't say that, but that's what I, well, like, what else is a wand gonna be for? There's a new Lestrange, you know, like Bellatrix Lestrange, a different Lestrange in the movie, and she is from Slytherin, and you see that in Hogwarts, when she was in Hogwarts, she wasn't liked a lot, but she works for the Ministry. She's actually a really nice character and you might think that all of the Stranges are bad because like Bellatrix set that, set that up there, but she's not. Nagini also, everyone was so excited to see Nagini in the movie because Voldemort has Nagini as a snake. We see her, she turns into a snake and we find out that she has a curse and she's someone that is going to stay a snake, which we know from Harry Potter. But right now we see her in human form. She is friends with Credence, and she's also trying to help him find his true self, who he is, his parents, stuff like that. And she is also on the good side, which you wouldn't think so since she was Voldemort's like ally. So I wonder what happens for her to go to Voldemort, you know? In this movie, we see Nicholas Flamel. If you don't know or don't remember, cause he's in a very small portion of Harry Potter. He's the one who created the Sorcerer's Stone, Philosopher's Stone, and he is very old. He does kind of look like a ghost, which Jacob in the film does 
ask him. He's in a small part, but he's in there. If you saw the trailer, you see Dumbledore talking to Newt saying you have to fight Grindelwald. Well, here's why. Grindelwald and Dumbledore, when they were younger, they were like really close, you know, close. They made a blood pact to not fight each other. Like they could never fight each other. So Grindelwald, here's a whole big old thing. Grindelwald wants Credence to kill Dumbledore and Dumbledore can't fight Grindelwald because they have a blood pact and that's why like the whole point of why Grindelwald doesn't not going to isn't fighting Dumbledore there's this whole scene of, of the ministry asking Dumbledore to fight him and he said he can't and at the end of the movie we see that why he can't so I wonder if Grindelwald knows that Dumbledore can defeat him because Dumbledore is going to try to break the the blood bond thing and if he does that if Dumbledore could do that then technically Grindelwald could do that and so then he could end up fighting Dumbledore but that never happens but Grindelwald doesn't want that to happen so I don't know how it's going to go because if Dumbledore can defeat Grindelwald and Grindelwald knows that and that's why he has the blood thing and Dumbledore can do that, then Dumbledore can just fight Grindelwald. But it might take like a whole other two movies or something for him to like uh, break the blood bond thing. I don't, I don't know. The last and biggest spoiler of the movie is about Credence. We do find out who Credence is because Grindelwald gets him on his side. Credence is, drum roll, Dumbledore's brother. I didn't really catch the exact name, just that he said Dumbledore because there was just so much information and everything was happening so quickly. I have to watch it again to get everything again. Since we already seen Harry Potter, it's like we know parts of the future, I guess. So it's kind of a disadvantage, but an advantage because there's so many, it's so hard. It's so hard to just put everything in a thing, but that's all I have for you. It's a, it's a lot of information. Watch the movie if you haven't, and it's amazing. I have to watch it again. It's so, so much. Hashtag, protect the secrets. If you like this video, you can go ahead and do that. If you wanna see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel, but I'm not gonna force you cause I'm a Hufflepuff, like Nurse Commander. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both of those links are in the description. And I think that's it, okay? Bye.